Mark Raimondi for ESPN here with UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Prochaska. Great to see you, Yuri. How has the trip been from Czech Republic? Uh, trip was uh, great. Great. I've watched the movies, spent the time on uh, like a make a plan for the finished preparation in Las, in Las Vegas, and I'm ready for that. So you're going to be in the States now until UFC 282, so December 10th uh, in Las Vegas, right? Yes. Big fight against uh, Glover Chair. I want to ask you a little bit about Glover, but first I want to ask you about there was a photo that, that got posted recently with you and you know, you're alone in a room, not sure where you were exactly, but apparently you were in a room for several days in the dark by yourself. Can you explain to me what that was and why you did it? Uh, I don't like to talk about that a lot because it's my personal stuff, but one thing, it's about to, to searching your inner power, inner power in a quiet places and where you can take the power from your mind, from the concentration, and to show it in the cage. Have you done stuff like that before, or was it mainly just to prepare for this fight, particularly? No, I, I tried, I, I did that many times. I'm like, it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's a part of training. The fight with Glover, the first one, of course, it was, it was a great fight. Some would say it was one of the best fights they've ever seen. I know that for you, you felt like you probably made a lot of mistakes in that fight as the Glover. What is your assessment of that fight when you look back now? Uh, I showed my best in that attitude well, which I had. That's, 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 the, that's the last thing what, what I can say about that. Because uh, in the Singapore, I don't want to talk about the Singapore because because Singapore was Singapore. Now I'm focused for uh, for the Las Vegas for the 10th of December and to show my best performance. That's all. So tell me about that fight. So what did you learn from the first fight, and what have you done differently, if anything, to prepare for this one? Yeah. Uh, I learned from uh, from the first fight. I have to I have to do uh, much better my wrestling and jitsu. And uh, it's everything is about the mindset. It's about the mindset and uh, which mindset you have when you go to the fight. That's all about that. Because when you are ready to, ready to die, to show the best, like a last thing in your life, you will. And that's all. When we spoke before the first fight back in May, June, one of the things you said to me was that the belt is not the final goal. The belt is just kind of one of the steps yeah. on the way to the final goal. And now that you have the belt, it's on your shoulder here, do you feel the same way? Do you feel like it's still kind of one of the steps? And what is the final goal? That's, that's <laughs> very, very nice, nice question, man. Uh, that, was the, that was the main, main goal in, uh, like we spoke, uh, in these spiritual trainings in the dark or whatever because the motivation is the most important yeah and uh, in my life the belt was uh, one of the biggest motivation and <laughs> man that's not like a new new target mm -hmm. it's oldest one oldest one target from my from uh, from my motivation and that, that means to be the best fighter in the world. To be the best fighter in the world. And I will, I will prove that I am the best one. I am the pound for pound the first one. That's what I was saying, pound for pound, you want to yeah, be number one. Yeah, that's, that's, the yeah, that's the goal, that's the goal, and I will, I will achieve that. Last few things, did the bell come with you to the room, yeah. in the dark room, it was with you, where was it? Yeah. Yeah, there is uh, some some uh, some like fragments from gold in in the in, in that belt. So I tried to, to to how to how to feel that wipe from gold. So that's that, that was just all about that. There was a report recently that you've been tested by USADA a lot, like more than anyone, like double more than anyone this year. Mm. Why is that? And and is it kind of uh, annoying that they keep that they keep showing up and testing you? Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but. If it's the price of the to be the champion, I will I will I will pay that. And how many times has it been? Uh, more than fifty times, 
more more than 50 times. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't count that. That feels like a job in itself. Anyway, last thing. Preparation a little bit different for this one. What is different about this fight coming up at UFC 282? What will, what will the difference be? That's uh, just that. I will I will show my best performance, like like every time. But uh, I'm just working on my mistakes from the last fight, and I don't want to repeat that that mistakes from uh, from wrestling, from jitsu. And show more from my stand-up because I show just, I think, about 15, 20 percent. Did you want to fight him again for that reason? Because you wanted to kind of correct those mistakes? No, no. Uh, I'm fighting because I want to show my best. I want to show my best performance. Yeah, it's all about that. To be satisfied with that. Yeah, about satisfaction and. I want to be more satisfied with, with my, with my uh, performance. That's all about that. Thank you so much, Yuri. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.